Similar to simple moving average is a weighted moving average. Again, we're gonna be finding the mean or taking an average, but this time we're going to be assigning weights. And for some reason, this slide, your slide should have the weights listed on it, um, slide 25, but we're using weights of 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0.2. When we take a look at our weights, you will find that they add up to 1.0. What we are doing here, where a simple moving average was each uh, actual demand got the same weight. Each it was in a three month, it was one third, one third, one third, literally that we took. So we added them all up, divided by three. Here, I think some information is more important. And when you're using a weighted moving average, the most recent information always gets the highest weight. The information farthest into the past will get the lowest weight. Again, your weights all have to add up to 1.0. So looking at this, again, I have my months 2021, 20, 22, 23, 24, and 25. I'm gonna start with the information that is farthest away, starting with month 20. but with this, the most recent information is gonna get the highest weight. The most recent information is gonna be month 22. So I'm gonna multiply that information times my 0 0.5. 130, I'm gonna take the next weight down, which is a 0.3 and I'll multiply that by 0.3 and the information that is in the most, the, the past, the furthest away from today, I'm gonna give a 0.2. So I'm gonna take 120 times 0.2. Again, I'm taking these and instead of giving them all the same weight, I'm going to multiply literally. It's going to be 120 times 0.2 plus 130 times 0.3 plus 110 times 0.5. Now let's see if I can do this. I didn't do this part of the math in my head. So let's see if we can do it quickly here. 0.2 times 120 should be 24 plus 0.3 times 130 should be 39 and 0.5 times 110 should be 55. And if I add all of these together, my weighted average would be 118. What I wanna do now is literally slide these values down one time period and work out the problem again. So instead of using 20, 21, and 22, I'm now gonna use 21, 22, and 23. So it should be 130 times 0.2 plus 110 times 0.3 plus 140 times 0.5. And if I multiply those out and add them together, I should have 129. I'm gonna take them, so we've got these three to begin with, then we worked on these three. I'm now gonna take 110, 140, and 110. Time periods 22, 23, and 24. Time periods 22, 110, I'm gonna multiply by 0 0.2. The 140 
in time period 23, I'm going to multiply by 0.3. And 110 in time period 24, I'm going to multiply by 0.5. And after doing that, you should, adding those all together, you should end up with 119. Again, the same thing, move those values down one. And as long as you still have, because we have three weights, three time periods to work with here, time periods 23, 24, and 25, I can take them and multiply by the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.5, add them all together, and you should get 126. This right here, is the weighted moving average.